Okay. Thank you, Sam. Mm -hmm. And uh, thank you to Perennial for setting up and facilitating today's webinar. Um, and if Sam uh, is recording the uh, webinar, I believe, and, and we'll make it available uh, on the website within a few days, I understand. Yes, sir. So, few days of the webinar. That right? Okay. Thanks. All right. Well, um, then uh, everyone should be seeing the uh, welcome screen in our Sway presentation. The Sway will be available for viewing at any time by simply clicking on a link that we will email to you following the presentation. And you will also be able to download some of the uh, good practices documents that we have um, listed right here. Um, also, um, you should be seeing a poll question on your screen, Sam. Is that up yet? Do you know? Um, which, and the poll question is, which okay. statement best reflects your thoughts on putting together management reports? We're going to present three poll questions during the, during the webinar today. And, uh, would very much appreciate having your answer to each question. Jim, are you seeing that? I am. Perfect. I am. So, I, how does that work? Is it on just for a few moments and then it goes off and we're back to the my screen or how does that work? Yeah, we're at about 50% voted. Um, and so once we get up to about, I would say 75, I will close the poll. Okay. All right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, so we're going to close this poll down. And we're back to your screen. All right, thank you. Well, my name is Jim Lee, and I am president of Astute Financial Consulting. Uh, for 10 years, we have been helping companies get the most from their investment in Sedona office by providing financial consulting services, back office services, and reporting solutions. We helped bring vivid reports into the Sedona office world in 2012 with two fantastic reporting tools, Vivid CPM and Vivid Flex. Both products are add-ins to Excel, and both use SQL to efficiently access data from Sedona Office and other ODBC compliant databases. And Vivid Reports is a proven solution across many industries, uh, used by savvy companies like Salvation Army and Toyota. In the security industry, Astute is proud to support over 70 Sedona Office customers now using Vivid Reports. Whereas CPM provides a structured environment for developing GL-based financial statements, Vivid Flex uh, provides a flexible framework for creating virtually any type of report or utility. Uh, today's uh, webinar will focus on flex reports developed by Astute that are tailored specifically for Sedona Office and the security industry. These include uh, dashboards, like the executive dashboard and company dashboard. They include what we call report packs, and we'll talk more about report packs in a little bit, like for accounts payable, accounts receivable, cash, inventory, uh, jobs, prospects, RMR, uh, service, and technicians. And uh, I'm not gonna open up the, all of these um, uh, screenshots right now, but uh, if you were to look at this way after, you know, later on uh, after the presentation, what you could do is, for instance, click on a, on this the arrows here in the corner, and that opens up uh, this uh, screenshot of the report pack. So uh, we just provided uh, at least one screenshot for every every dashboard and and uh, report pack here, and so um, you can take a look at those um, when you have free time. Um, we also have what we call special use reports, and uh, these are reports that um, uh, have a special use, and we're going to look at these a little later in the presentation today. And so all the reports that don't fit nicely into a dashboard report pack or special use report, we throw into what we call our toolbox reports, and we have uh, well over 50 toolbox reports. Okay. 
Um, so, um, so before we get into the live demonstration here, I want to point out a couple key benefits of Vivid Reports. Uh, Vivid CPM and Vivid Flex give you easy access to and distribution of key financial and operating information. This means you save time and money while professionally meeting the demands of your de decision makers, shareholders, banks, and others with timely and, and reliable information. And Vivid Flex lets you know how your week or month is going in real time. And this means no more surprises when month end financial statements are, are released. So uh, keep those two in mind. But uh, what I'm going to do is open up Microsoft Excel right now. And you can see, uh, as I mentioned, Flex is an add-in to Excel. And, and I have a toolbar up here. And I've logged into Flex. And so I have the Flex toolbar in front of me. And um, I'm going to click the main menu here. And uh, on, on the main menu, I, the first screen on the main menu is the file list, and this gives me easy access to Flex reports that have been installed on your system, including dashboards, the report packs, special use reports, and toolbox reports. So, um, you know, there. Uh, let's see here. We there are nine uh, report packs, um, but uh, of course we won't have time to look at all of those today. But I'm going to open up the the RMR report back. I actually have it open here. I'll just um, pull it up here. Okay. And I'm going to show you some of the standard features that we have in every report pack. So every report pack has a settings tab. And this is where your company name and date and other parameters are, are entered. And this is also where you can create filters. Um, and uh, and report filters right right down here. And for example, if you wanted to to generate reports for a group of branches, you can easily create a filter for that. Here I've created a filter called Front Range, which includes Denver, Fort Collins, and Colorado Springs. Uh, and so when that branch group is selected, the fil that filter will be applied to all of the reports in the report pack. So. Uh, it can be for a ge you know branch group can be for a geographical area or any other logical grouping of branches like uh, maybe some of your maybe you you have uh, a couple acquisitions that you've set up in branches. There are also settings to apply to individual reports. For example, um, in this RMR activity row forward report, we have a row on here called resigns. Okay. So back here on the settings tab under RMR activity, here in the resigns configuration uh, settings, I've selected three RMR reasons that are grouped together, uh, reactivate, relocate, and resell as part of um, uh, the configuration for this report. Okay, so once the settings on a, in a report pack or any other flex report are, are set, you can use flex data up here in the menu to save to save your settings in the flex data online database and and this is nice for uh, later on uh, applying those settings to new reports so um, then um, let's see here all right so that's the settings and every report pack also has um, what we call summary reports. We have summary reports, charts, and detail reports. The RMR report pack has six summary reports. We have the RMR activity report, which shows the change in RMR over a period of time. That can be 12 months, 13 weeks, or 13 years, depending on your settings uh, that you've chosen in the settings tab. Uh, we have the site activity uh, report, which shows the change in the number of sites having recurring revenue. There's the attrition report that calculates gross and net attrition on a weighted period basis. The cancellations report breaks down cancellations by reason and shows the relative percentage for each reason. The resigns report calculates your success rates for resigning canceled accounts and customers that move within your market. And the breakdown summary report shows the breakdown of your recurring in a number of different ways and calculates averages. 
So on the settings tab, you can see I've selected, uh, this is an older database, I have 2015 and I have May selected as the last period of my report. So over here on this RMR activity report, you can see it's June, June 2014 through May 2015. Now, I'm going to just clear the report real quick, clear the contents, and then I'm gonna click refresh, okay? Just, just to give you an idea of what happens here, Flex goes out and runs 22 queries that are embedded in this report and brings back the results, like you see here, okay? So just like that, with the click of a button, you can see how your company's RMR is trending for the past 12 months. The same information is presented in, in, this, in, a, in the charts over here, where we're seeing internal RMR growth and total RMR growth. Okay. So the detail reports, here I'm gonna just highlight one of them here. Um, such as this one, you can, you can enter a date parameter in any detail report and hit refresh and pull in the information. But the more common path to viewing a detail report is to start at a summary report. For instance, over here on the RMR activity report, you can, you can uh, double click on a blue number to see the supporting detail, or you can place your cursor on a number and click the link button in the toolbar to um, to see the supporting detail. I'm going to uh, select uh, the $242 of recurring that was added in April through installations and I'll click the link button here. That's gonna pass the April dates over into my uh, detail report and refresh the report. So you'll see here's the $742 uh, added through installations and here's the detail. So I can click the link return button to return back to the summary report. And by the way, all of the in all of our uh, uh, flex reports, a blue number indicates a number that you can drill down to supporting detail. So the flex reports provide visibility uh, as to uh, possible data entry errors, for example. Uh, it's always a good idea in the RMR activity report to look at the uh, the other changes row. Um, here, uh, I'm going to drill down in, on December, the, ne the negative $70 here. And I'll click link, and that will pull that detail up here in my detail report. And, and you can see that uh, this $70 is comprised of three accounting correction changes, okay? Uh, more than likely, these changes should have been coded as service reductions or full site cancellations, either of which would have affected gross attrition had they been coded properly. So everyone has heard of the adage, uh, garbage in, garbage out. So this type of visibility is important when, when using uh, Flex. So I'm gonna uh, ask Sam to uh, put up the second poll question, if you would, please, Sam. Um, and that question is, uh, do you currently export reports and data into Excel and manipulate the data for management reporting? So we'll give you a few minutes to answer that. All right, Jim, it's looking like we have all the responses in. Okay, thank you. All right, so I've opened the, uh, the jobs report pack now, and you can open a, uh, a report just by double clicking on it here in the file list. So I'm on the jobs report pack here. Um, and I'm gonna show you just a couple more features here in the jobs report pack. Um, we have a, a a queue report which shows the uh, the jobs coming in and, and being closed and coming out of your job queue. Um, and then on the results summary report, we show those closed jobs broken down by 
by uh, market, by job type, and by system type down below. Uh, one of the features in a lot of our reports is like uh, here to show rows. If I click on show rows, it's going to show me all the rows in the report, um, and including the rows that uh, don't have any, um, uh, in this case, job types mapped to the rows. So when I click hide rows, that tightens up the report quite a bit and makes it easier to read and smaller when you print it. Uh, we also have show high columns in many of our reports. I'm going to drill down on this $67,000 of jobs, commercial jobs closed in May. And um, uh, hopefully it won't take but a, sec a couple of seconds here to refresh the report. And um, it's going to take few seconds, but it's pulling in a lot of information into this report. So this is going to be the detail behind that 67,000. You can see that right here in column AQ. Okay. Um, you can also see that there's a lot of hidden columns in this report. So um, I'm going to click show detail, which is going to expand the report and show all of the columns. And then up here in, um, in the, at the top of the report, um, you can see I can I can open uh, uh, row two up here, and, and then I, can, I have control over which columns I want to show or hide. I'm going to hide the system type, and I'll hide the uh, alarm number here, and then I'll click hide detail again. And what that does is it tightens up the report. Now we can see the end of the report, and um, and it just makes now that you know as an end user I'm seeing only the columns that are relevant to me so uh, some of you Excel experts uh, attending today may have picked up on the fact that we're using conditional formatting to shade every other row of, of these detail reports which makes it easier to read we also use uh, conditional formatting to highlight important information such as data that falls outside of predetermined parameters for example a target uh, creation multiple and a target contribution margin have been um, entered for this report and then based on the results of each job uh, compared to these targets the cell shading and font colors uh, change so the conditional formatting here makes it easy to quickly pinpoint uh, jobs that fall outside of your targets but it doesn't really provide an answer for why those jobs were better or worse than projected uh, to find answers, you might have to do a little investigative work, which usually means um, viewing details in Sedona Office, uh, such as navigating through the various job management screens. With Flex, you can uh, save time by drilling down to additional job details. Um, we've got one job here, uh, Today's Nails, and um, I'm going to, you can see on this job, I'll highlight it here, that we had a creation multiple of 23. Uh, on this job. So it's a little higher than what we expected. I'm going to drill down on that using the link. And that's going to um, pull up the summary uh, section of this, of the, of the job. So here in the uh, job details report, you can see general information here on the left. Actually, there's, there's more information than that here, and you can hide it. But, and then we have detail information here on the right. So what I'm going to do is, uh, first of all, if I'm looking into this job, I'm gonna, maybe I wanna see who worked on the job. So, so I'll look at the timesheets, click refresh, and, and that'll show me um, that we had oh, three or two or three, yeah, three people say that worked on this job, four people. And, that doesn't tell me a whole lot, but it tells me who worked on it. But then maybe I want to look at the notes. Let me look at the notes here. And, uh, and I can see in this particular situation, um, I have notes here from the project manager that tell me why this particular job, uh, there, was a, there was cost overrun on the job. So again, this is an example of how you can pinpoint potential problems and get answers quickly with Flex. And then back to the uh, job report pack. Um, the integration of Flex with Excel has many benefits, and one of them is that you can easily create pivot tables from the data, particularly these detail data uh, detail reports. Uh, 
for instance, uh, with the job closings detail, we've created several pivot tables um, uh, that present the uh, closed jobs in, in different groups. Uh, here you can see the sales rep, and here's the $67,000 we looked at earlier. Um, here's the uh, closed jobs grouped by job type, $67,000. So again, just another great benefit of, of Flex and, and its integration with Excel. I'm going to go back to the Sway presentation now. And uh, I'm going to come down here to uh, dashboards, utilities, and more. So management report information is always, almost always more useful when numbers are presented in comparison to prior period actual numbers or to budget numbers. Comparisons give the numbers context. How do you know $100,000 in sales is good or not if it's not compared to prior period? Uh, results or to budget. Uh, you don't. So the flex report pack summary and row forward reports that we just looked at present actual numbers uh, over several weeks, months, or years to give you that context with prior actual results, which illuminates how your business is trending in each critical area. The dashboards um, give you that same information in a different format, and um, um, but it also so in the executive dashboard, yeah, we're actually comparing the actual results to budget. So the, um, the executive dashboard has 16 key metrics that uh, it looks at for RMR, for jobs, service, um, and uh, uh, accounts receivable, uh, and technician productivity. So all of those key metrics uh, are, are part of this one report here. I'll go ahead and click on it and bring it up uh, in the sway. And um, you can see here that uh, uh, what this indicates is, is a green check mark indicates that you are meeting or exceeding your goal or projection. A yellow exclamation point indicates where you are slightly under budget. And a red X indicates that uh, you are falling short of your budget. In this example, we are 33% into the year. And uh, we have added sites, let's look at this one here, we've added sites equivalent to 35% of our goal, which means we get the green check mark, which of course is what you're striving for. Okay, I'm gonna get out of that. And um, the, the company dashboard uh, actually has two different views. You can look at uh, results um, period over period and uh, so here's an example of where we're looking at the information on an annual so we're looking back five years we can also this same report can be refreshed to look at your data quarterly uh, month over month weekly or daily okay so and what we're looking at is is key metrics in, in each of these areas, RMR, and you can expand these different sections here for prospect information, jobs, service, tech, mission hours, cash, accounts receivable, inventory. So, um, the, so that's the, the one uh, company dashboard. The other one is a little different. What we're doing here is we're looking at um, your results of this month to date, this month compared to prior month. And so we're 50% into the month and, and we see where we're tracking. What is our progress this month compared to last month? And uh, on this side of the report, we, we're looking at year to date information, last year compared to this year. So the green number will uh, tells you you are doing better than the prior period and the red indicates that you are not doing as well. We also have what we call special use reports, okay? And we're gonna look at these a little more closely later in the presentation, but um, these reports have been developed to, to deal with a, a certain um, uh, need or requirement uh, of, of uh, our customers. So, we, and, and uh, what I will point out here is, uh, you know, you can later, if you 
download the Sway link and you're looking at this, you, you can click the arrows here to, uh, to open up the, uh, the screenshots and see more closely the, uh, the reports. Okay. We all, and then everything that doesn't fall into our dashboards, report packs, or special use reports um, falls into what we call the toolbox reports. And, uh, and these are, we've got uh, quite a few of these reports, and uh, we've grouped them into four categories, accounting, RMR, utilities, and other. And, and so we have a snapshot of a list of those reports. Uh, it's not quite 100% complete. There are more reports than this, but uh, uh, we, we have been, uh, I guess, a little negligent keeping this updated lately. But we have a few more to add to it. Okay. So, um, you know, what I did want to do here, and I kind of skipped over this, I did want to uh, uh, say a couple things about the special use reports. Um, you know, the AR RMR aging report is used uh, quite a bit for our clients that have banking uh, uh, reporting requirements to age their recurring. Um, the cash flow forecast uh, report here, gives, it gives you history uh, information and um, uh, gives you the ability to use that as a point of reference for, for uh, developing a cash forecast. The commissions due report, let me just open that up. This is one of, uh, one of our more um, uh, sophisticated solutions we've created with Flex. Each pay period, we calculate commissions due to each sales rep based on custom payment rules, and we write the actual commissions paid back into Sedona office so that the report updates correctly for the next pay period. And this solution also includes uh, commission's payment history reports and a commission's payable report for reconciling detail to the general ledger. So it's been a, a real popular report. The, um, the service analysis report, um, it, uh, it is also a report that is, is relatively new. But uh, most of our customers want to know how many go back service calls they run and why they are running them and who is responsible and how much is it costing. The service analysis report gives you answers to those questions and more, including questions about service causes and the reason for unbilled service calls, uh, average number of calls per day, average ticket duration, and service efficiency. So. Uh, just a lot of a lot of good information in that report. The uh, timesheets uh, report is a tool that um, uh, that we developed to where it pulls the time that you've entered, usually through an FSU, uh, into a timesheet format, and then through automation, uh, we email the spreadsheet or the timesheets to installation and service technicians. For their sig signature. Okay, so just a few more features to point out here. Um, Flex, uh, with Flex, you can connect to multiple databases. Okay, so what this means is that you can pull information from Sedona Office and other da databases like WeSuite and Manitou into a single report or dashboard. Real nice, nice uh, feature uh, in Flex. And Flex has what we call automation as well, which is the ability to automate certain tasks like refreshing reports, printing reports to paper or PDF, emailing reports as an Excel file or as a PDF, copying reports to a folder or executing VBA statements. You can initiate a set of tasks with a click of a button, or you can set up a schedule to initiate the tasks at a certain time of day or night, which is perfect for sending a set of reports to your management team on a weekly or a monthly basis. So what's new in Flex? Well, the accounts payable and the inventory report, report packs are new. Uh, in fact, we haven't uh, implemented those yet, but that will be coming in in the next couple of weeks with our existing customers. Uh, the new, the toolbox, we're creating new reports all the time and adding these to the, to the uh, 
toolbox and and the toolbox are included in your your flex subscription at no additional charge so uh, one of the more recent toolbox reports is job details which we looked at briefly earlier in the presentation this report gives you the ability to, to drill down um, and from other job reports to view parts labor commission notes and all the other you know, nitty-gritty details of a job um, another another new feature that we have in the flex reports is that we have streamlined our update process now users can download the latest reports and apply their configuration set settings uh, just with a click of a button so that's a, a huge uh, change and and we spent a lot of time on that and to get that right and and it just makes it easier to make sure you're running the latest reports and what's on the horizon well this this is a real exciting feature we uh, that I, I want to point out the web viewer so um, this is uh, uh, basically what it is is the ability for you to view vivid documents and dashboards in a web browser it's slated for release uh, later this year for Vivid CPM and early next year for Vivid, Vivid Flex. So, of course, this new capability will make report distribution even easier than it is now, and and uh, you know company owners and managers should be happier. Station right at their fingertips. The other thing that's been become a big part of, of what we do on a day-to-day -day basis is helping our clients who have special reporting requirements and uh, for banks and industry groups primarily. And an important goal we have is working with these clients is to automate most of the reporting uh, for uh, uh, using CPM and Vivid Flex. All right, so uh, Sam, if you don't mind, throw up the, the last poll question then. All right, and that question is, please indicate your level of interest in Vivid Flex. I'm gonna give this a few seconds, Jim. Okay, thanks. Thought that'd be an easy answer. All right, we're going to close that one up. Okay, thank you. All right, well, I hope you were interested today in seeing the many benefits when using Vivid Reports and Vivid Flex. Uh, again, here are two particularly noteworthy benefits. Um, Vivid CPM and Vivid Flex give you easy access to and distribution of key financial and reporting information. And Vivid Flex lets you know how your week or month is going in real time. So, of course, we would love to work with you uh, to get the most out of Sedona Office using Vivid Flex. So, for new and our existing Flex customers, we are offering three months free for any new subscription purchase before the end of October. So, if you're interested, please contact us. And uh, just wanted to point out that again we will email you this this um, this sway link so you can look at the presentation again if you'd like and uh, but that's the end of our presentation so uh, thank you so much for attending um, and uh, also another thing I just wanted to remind you in the email we'll be following up with to you uh, you'll have those links to the good practices documents. So uh, I hope everyone has a great rest of your day. And again, thank you for attending. Perfect. Thanks, Jim. Thanks, everyone. Have a great day. All right. Thank you, Sam.